Hey, I'm once again back at the Great Bay Wildlife Refuge and I'm going to talk about white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer is the most common deer in North America. It's about 8 feet long, 4 feet tall, weighs about 511 pounds. The largest one in history was that big. And they're close relatives of the mule deer, and they can crossbreed together. The obvious reason why the white-tailed deer is called a white-tailed deer is because they have white tails. They use their tails like flags to warn each other of danger, and predators of the white-tailed deer are bears, cougars, and wolves. Like most species of deer, only male white-tailed deer have antlers, and the bigger the antlers, the tougher and healthier the buck. And like all deer, they shed their antlers in the winter and grow them back in the spring. When they grow back, they have this furry velvet on them, and when the, that velvet is on their antlers, they can't use their antlers to fight, so they have to use their front hooves to fight. But when the velvet sheds off, they can use their antlers. And then, in the winter, the antlers fall off again, and the cycle keeps going on and on every year. In most deer species, only the males have antlers, and the males would use their antlers for fighting and for, to attract females. But reindeer are the only species of deer in the world where both males and females have antlers. And I would imagine that if male reindeer are bigger than the females, they probably have bigger antlers too. The females sometimes have antlers and they sometimes don't, but the males always have antlers. And the difference between horns and antlers is, antlers have these spikes called tines sticking out of them, and horns don't. That's how you can tell the difference between horns and antlers. There are many different species of deer worldwide. And the largest deer in the world is the moose. The largest one ever was 11 feet long, 9 feet tall, and weighed 2 tons. And the moose also has the largest antlers of any deer in the world. They're, the largest moose antlers ever were 7 feet wide and weighed 100 pounds. And believe it or not, deer antlers are the most extreme fashion disaster in the world. And the moose has the most extreme deer antlers in the world, but the Irish elk a prehistoric deer was the largest deer that ever lived and had the most extreme deer antlers ever because it also had the largest antlers of any deer that ever lived. Its antlers were 14 feet wide and weighed 100 pounds, the same weight as moose antlers but twice as wide. In fact, the moose is also the largest animal in the world that has antlers and antlers are lids and so are tusks and horns. Those are things on, on animals' heads. And the largest animal in the world that has horns is the rhino, and the largest animal in the world that has tusks is the elephant. White-tailed deer like to eat grass, leaves, and acorns, and they'll also eat fruit, too. And like a lot of herbivorous animals, when they eat fruit, they eat the seeds, too. And then they carry the seeds off in their bodies, and then they drop the seeds off in their poop. And that's where a new tree will grow. When white-tailed deer are born, the fawns have spots, and then when they get older, they lose their spots and, and eventually become the gray-colored adults. This isn't related to my show, but we've just come upon a corn snake. <laughs> Corn snakes are not poisonous. They like to eat mice and rats. They'll sometimes crawl into people's barns and eat the rodents that are inside the barns. They're close relatives of the rat snake. There are 3,000 species of snakes worldwide, but only 30% of them are poisonous, so only 900 are poisonous. But the only problem is, sometimes we don't know which ones are poisonous and which aren't. That's why we're afraid of them all. Thanks for watching again. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.